For a roughly 15-year period starting in 1915, golf experienced a golden age of architecture when designers like Alistair Mackenzie, Donald Ross, and A. W. Tillinghast produced some of the world's best courses. Nearly 100 years later, a new golden age has arrived, which is in many ways inspired by the past, yet looks radically different. Just as all trends involve a rejection of the past, architects today are responding to the penal and unforgiving nature of target golf courses that opened in the 60s and 70s seconds, when courses were designed with professionals in mind rather than amateurs. But the emphasis for today's superstar architects Tom Doak, Bill Corr, Ben Crenshaw, Gil Hance, Tom Fazio, and others is bringing the joy back into golf. That means that strategy comes before length, courses are designed to be walked, and you're less likely to part with half the balls in your bag when 18 holes are up. But this philosophy goes beyond golf course architecture too. It's even influencing the way new properties are being developed. Post-COVID, more people are playing golf than ever before, and the same is the case with travel. All of this has led to a new opportunity in golf and hospitality, the stay and play golf resort. This isn't to call golf resorts a new concept, but their number has certainly increased, as has their versatility. New resorts opening today don't just have 18-hole golf courses plus a hotel. They have par-3 courses for beginners, technology-first driving ranges, numerous dining options, spas, and shopping centers. They're even being developed as brands in their own right, like Cabot, which is preparing to open its third location in the next few months. Overall, it makes for a lot more competition in the golf and tourism space, and ultimately better experiences for us, the consumers. With that in mind, these are Hype Golf's 10 standout golf courses that opened in 2023. Panther National looks like something you might build on the golf course creator in those old Tiger Woods PGA Tour video games. There shouldn't be four-story elevation changes in an area of South Florida where the highest natural point is a measly 86 feet. But Panther National doesn't make any pretense of being natural. Rather, the signature mounds and hills at Panther were created by digging into the ground, then moving the dirt around to build strategic challenges throughout the course. Although the golf course has been open for play for a month now, to members only, the surrounding community is still far from complete. Once finished, it will be a prime example of what lead architect Max Strang calls environmental modernism. Essentially, building a stronger connection between design and sustainability. The golf course, meanwhile, was designed by a team of Jack Nicholas and Justin Thomas, the debut design project for the latter.